Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, this beautiful day. This is a cleanup video, straight up just cleanup, uh, nothing special. So, but I'm just gonna show you guys what I did so far. I changed a little bit, uh, some stuff. I will go into your game, um, or your. Let me see. Did I say yeah? I changed the multiplier timer max to 200. That's pretty important. I then went ahead and uh, went into update and in update I I added something I added this I removed the old old way to do it you can you can check your own code out and I said uh, well if the multiplier adder is more than the multiplier to max then I'm gonna set it back to zero because it was like 60 out of 10 and stuff that wasn't good and I'll just add to score multiplier uh, so that's good then I I didn't really change that much here. I changed these to 30. This is the take damage tag. Then I changed EXP to multiply with this score, score multiplier. So you get more EXP the more multiplier you have, which is cool. Uh, and then I added in the score text tag. Uh, I, I made it to 40. I, did, I made the level up tag to 40 seconds or whatever that is I don't know and then the gain exp tag I added this in here so I added the multiplier in parentheses kind of so you can just copy that and I added it or I increased that to 40 and uh, I still didn't do anything with well I, I changed this to 30 as well and then I changed some of the directions in there you can check it out in the code and compare it but uh, but yeah, I changed this a little bit. Nothing else special in here. I didn't add any damage, like I said, from the enemy bullets because I'm gonna change them way later. I'm gonna change them so that uh, they're a static. It's a static kind of one big array for the whole enemy class thing. So everyone can add in their bullets, and then you will just go through that and see if the players hit, uh, and then we'll just delete different bullets from there. So they'll add bullets to that big array, which is better than, than ha each one of them having their own array. Uh, so that's going to solve a little bit some of the problems. Mm. But we'll do that later. So that was the cleanup. And in enemy, I didn't really do anything else in here. Player, let me see, what did I do in player? I didn't do anything in player. Uh, it's still the same. Game is still the same. Enemy was the same uh, yeah that was the same the speeds are the same everything in here is the same so let me just play the game and we'll see how it looks there is nothing really more special it's just that if I play the game for a while you'll see that the XP counter they all go backwards now and it looks a little cooler it looks a little more legit and I'm getting a score multiplier which is kind of helping me let me play with both hands there we go it's kind of helping me level up so I got a 2x score multiplier and it's boosting my exp a little bit and I'm leveling it faster getting more damage and see how much xp you can get like just by having your multiplier up I think I got it up to 8 at one point I was like damn that's insane and then I died because I got super killed but I got it up to four and one more thing I'm gonna clean up is in game in the score update the score what is it an update UI update in it UI I think it's an update all the way down here's score multiplier plus a X and then plus so that's how I want to do it. I want there to be an X to the next to the multiplier to the next to the multiplier so it's a little easier to see uh, so 1 X and then we'll just increase that a little bit see how that looks hell yeah this game is pretty cool now I actually actually really think this game is is like a game right now I mean it's not that bad um, then as soon as we get 
as soon as we get uh, backgrounds and all these foreground things move in and stuff and maybe maybe shorten up maybe make the difficulties higher and stuff and, and have them like levels all kinds of stuff then it's gonna be really cool I think it's like a real game now and it is also everything should be frame rate independent so we have to we have to check that out in game let's set the frame rate to 100 and let's just see that everything works the way it should all the timers work everything works the way it should they're all moving like they should they're moving like they should the shots are coming out like they should everything's staying out like it should so we're good I mean there is no real issue at this frame rate, except that it's a little jittery compared to uh, unlimited a thousand FPS or whatever this this thing runs on so it shouldn't be but I, the jitteriness doesn't come really from the FPS it's more from how SFML handles that FPS lock so that kinda sucks uh, but yeah we got a 4x multiplier guys I know I like playing this game a lot that's why I keep playing it but I'm not gonna do it on video I'm just gonna see if I can get a really high multiplier just look at all the text tags flying around everything working like it should uh, all my damage timer is normal as well I think no I think the damage timer is weird actually at 100 FPS the damage timer is weird look where is it? No, it's not. No, it's not. It's normal. It's normal. Oh, okay, we're good. Uh, let's just do this to compare the damage timer. And then I won't complain anymore. Yeah, it's much It's good. It's just the way it looks. So there we go. Guys and girls, that's a really short, kind of seven, five, seven minute video uh, on uh, on just some cleanup stuff. So yeah, there we go. That's kind of what I changed. I'm going to check some other stuff out, change some more small things before we get into all the big things later. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. All right. Bye bye.